I'm going to share with you something that is exclusively reserved for the members of my academy. And I'm going to, it's a very simple but powerful exercise that will help you to live more consciously, live a more conscious life. So what is conscious living? Basically, conscious living is living with more awareness, becoming more self-aware and deliberate. And it's about no longer putting the blame out to something or somebody else for your situation. It's, it's about learning to take responsibility for our own lives and our own situations. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below what your thoughts on conscious living are. And even if you're not watching this live, um, I'll be checking the thread over the next couple of days. And um, so if you're watching it after the broadcast is over, please uh, submit a comment and let me know what you think conscious living is for you. So I have an exercise in the, for the members of my academy and it's called the feelings exercise. So I learned about the feelings exercise from one of my coaches and now I use it uh, for, for um, the members in my Optimal Health and Conscious Living Academy and also in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And it's not difficult, um, it's free, it doesn't take much time and you can do it from anywhere. So the feelings exercise basically is a way for you to connect to yourself. So you take your smartphone and you plan a day that you're going to do this exercise and you set the alarm to go off every hour throughout your day. And then when that alarm goes off, you check in with how you're feeling. So how am I feeling as I'm getting ready for work? And then your alarm goes off. Oh, how am I feeling getting the kids off to school? Or how am I feeling in this business meeting? Or how am I feeling getting into my car as I'm heading home for the day? Or how am I feeling having this conversation with my spouse? And you check in with where you're at and you write it down. You can make notes in your phone or you can keep a little notepad with you and you take notes of where you're at emotionally throughout the day. So your emotions can be your ally. They can be a great advisor and offer, offer really deep insight. But the problem is, is that we're never focused on ourselves. We're focused outward on our careers, on our to-do lists, on our children, and all of these responsibilities. So rarely is our focus inward. And what this exercise does is it allows you to turn the focus inward and on yourself. The other thing that happens is we tend to shove negative or difficult emotions down. We stifle them. We shove them down with food. We shove them down with wine or with shopping or with busyness. And our emo but emotion is energy, and energy needs to move, otherwise it gets stuck. So by tapping into your emotions, basically it allows you to acknowledge them and to process your experiences. So please comment below and let me know if you've ever done anything like this before and what your experience was. So mem many members of my academy, after having done this exercise, have reported back to me saying that it was mind-blowing, that they gained so much insight to how many emotions they go through in a day. But the other key point is that you have so much power to change your emotions. And until you do this exercise, I don't think you really understand how powerful you are in doing that. So Google um, a list of emotions because I find it's a really helpful tool. And when you go throughout your day, check in with that, that Google Doc. If you Google, you know, list of emotions, you can print that out and keep that with you because it's helpful when, you're, when, you're, when that alarm goes off and you're like, what, how am I feeling right now? I'm feeling good or I'm feeling bad or happy or sad. A list of emotions is a great tool. And so my challenge to you is to do your own feelings exercise. Plan a day of the week that you're gonna do this exercise Grab your phone and set your alarm. It's an amazing exercise. And even Tara here, she's saying the exercise is so mind-blowing. So I really hope that you take me up on this challenge. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my mailing list. Um, there's a link on my Facebook page and you'll receive my seven secrets for staying motivated for free when you do. I'd love you to have, uh, to have you as a member of our community. So have a great week.